This practice game is called Getting to Know Your Singles. Now, a lot of practice games that you will see focus on trebles and doubles and bullseyes. Don't forget about those vital big numbers though. As Rod Harrington says, don't miss the big number. So, in this game, you aren't gonna miss the big number. So, all you have to do is with three darts, hit the same single in sequence and constantly all the way around to 20. So, three darts in the single one, then three darts in the single two, three darts in the single three, and so on and so on. If you miss one dart at a single throughout the course of the whole game, you go right the way back to the beginning. So don't forget about singles are very important, so get them practiced. This is a really good game just to get you started in a practice session. This doubles practice game is probably the most popular doubles practice game in the world. It's called Bob's 27, named after the great Bob Anderson. The point of this game is you start on 27 points and your first target is double one. And your next target after that will be double two, your next target will be double three, and so on and so on. But three darts are double one. If you hit it once, you get two points. If you hit it twice, you get four points. Hit it three times, you get six points. But if you miss it with three darts, you are deducted the value of the double. So starting on 27, if you miss double one with all three, you're deducted two points. Going on to double two, if you then hit it once, you get four points, twice, eight points, three times, 12 points. But if you miss it with all three darts, you're deducted the value of the double, which is four points. So what you wanna do here is get as many points as you possibly can, all the way from double one to double top. But if you miss, you are deducted. And if you get past zero by constantly missing, you lose. One thing to add with Bob's 27 as well, is that as well as double top, you need to get the bullseye at the very end. So you could prospectively score 150 points at the end of this game, or you could be deducted 50 points, which could really damage your score if you're playing against somebody else. Phil's with me to talk about the JDC practice game, which of course is how their belt system is done. It's a very valuable practice game, and do you have any experience of it, Phil? I haven't played it myself, but I've seen the kids at the JDC playing it, and I think it's a great way when you're just starting up the sport to see where you are and what your level is and how to improve. It's not just the kids who can get something out of this game as well. I actually still play this game most days, and there are some kids out there who've got better scores than I have. Section one starts by scoring as much as you can on number 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now here's the catch. If you score a Shanghai on any of those numbers, you get a 100 point bonus, which will really swell your score. Section two, got to score a double one, a double two, and a double three. A double four, a double five, double six, and all the way through to the bullseye. For every double you hit with one dart, you get 50 points. But with dart number 21 on the bullseye, you get 100 if you hit that one. Section three, you start on number 15 here, and then you go on to 16, 17, 18, 19, and finish on 20. So it's very similar to section one. And again, if you get a Shanghai on those sections, you will get a 100 point bonus. It's the accumulative score of the whole lot that will give you where you are in that ranking table for the JDC and where you are right now.